12 things mentally strong people do to gain financial freedom. Learn how to gain control over your mind so you can gain control over your money. Find out how mentally tough individuals are able to manage their emotions, regulate their thoughts, and behave productively in order to adjust their attitude towards money and the activity in their bank account. Here are 12 financial habits of mentally strong people. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. Today, I want to talk about 12 things mentally strong people do to gain financial freedom. Number one, their financial habits are in line with their values. Now, mentally strong people have financial habits that reflect their true values. They will spend their time and money on the things that matter most to them, whether they're working extra hours to dig themselves out of a, a setback or trim some of the extras so they can spend more time with their families. Their choices reflect their core beliefs and their beliefs reflect their aspirations. So if you want to be mentally strong, you want to make sure your financial habits are in line with your values. Two, they choose a well-grounded life partner. The partner you, the woman or man that you have in your life will do, will uh, contribute greatly, significantly to your financial freedom or financial ruin for that matter. So you want to talk about money issues objectively and quietly with someone who understands you. You want to agree on key goals for the relationship, especially as those goals correlate or interrelate with finances. You want to have someone who understands money is a means to an end and not an end in itself. By doing that, you are gaining financial freedom and you are also buttressing your, your mind. You are becoming mentally stronger. Strong people, mentally strong people also set their self-worth apart from their net worth. Let me repeat that. Mentally strong people, that's number three, they set their self-worth apart from their net worth to be mentally strong doesn't mean you're necessarily rich right you can be mentally strong and not be rich but mentally strong people even though they're they may not be rich they are comfortable in their own skin they feel good about themselves no matter what they have in the bank account whether they have a dollar or a million it doesn't really matter mentally strong people don't show off their assets or brag about it, their, their income because their self-worth does not depend on their net worth. Whether they, are, they, are, they have a million dollars in the bank account, like I said, or one dollar in the bank account, the net worth is, is it doesn't matter. Their self-worth is more important. Number four, they delay gratification. Mentally sturdy individuals delay gratification. So they justify your purchases by telling yourself you deserve to be happy. This can lead to overindulgence in impulse purchases, which means your credit card is going to balloon or your, your debit card is going to lose weight. <laughs> so mentally strong people, they never make excuses to spend money they don't have on things they don't need, right? So whether it is a second honeymoon or the latest gadget, they practice self-discipline and will, they will wait until the time is right. I'll be right back right after this with more things mentally strong people do to gain financial freedom. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. Let's continue our list here, our compilation of the things that mentally strong people do to gain financial freedom. If you love the quality and clarity of the content so far please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you can be on the list whenever we, we release a new show and we do this every single day rain or shine comment below share and like tell us what constitutes for you a sign of mental strength and how does it correlate or interrelate with financial freedom number five they create a budget now if you want to have total control over money over your money you need to create a budget right a budget can be as simple as having one column for expenses and another column for income or you can even do a more complicated 
template in Excel or using software, free software or free app on the internet. The bottom line here is that a budget is a cornerstone and a key pillar of financial freedom. So when you come face to face with how much money you earn versus how much you spend, this can be quite anxiety provoking, right? But mentally strong people, they have goals. They know what they want. They know how to reach to reach them and they know they need a plan to reach their goals and what better platform than having a budget a budget is actually a plan if you think about it right because based on the goals you have set in your budget you can act in a certain way the budget helps you make informed decisions informed choices based on the fact so there are no impulse purchases based on emotions six they form and nurture strong bonds with like-minded people if you want to be financially free and you want to be mentally strong you need to form and cultivate relationships with people who think like you with other mentally strong individuals networking for work and life is important right so mentally strong individuals will network not just socially but also professionally by doing that by meeting the right people by mingling with the right individuals they are able to share tips and tactics for financial freedom they are able to share what works what doesn't work they are able to correct courses that are not pro providing the exact race or the exact responses they want the result they need right they they limit the occurrence of trials and errors because with experience you are reducing the trials and errors now mentally strong individuals also connect by um, mingling with the right people they are connecting with the right financial professionals whether whether we're talking about financial advisors cpas certified pro, pro, uh, certified public accountants lawyers who have a, who have experience in estate planning or tax planning any kind of financial professionals if you mingle with the right people with people who are mentally strong but also financially free they will be able to introduce you to the right people seven mentally strong people have a sense of purpose and that allows them to gain financial freedom so if you're trying to leave a legacy for future generations or you just want to give to others in need mentally sturdy people have a sense of purpose in life they have a vision they have a mission they have an objective right so they keep that purpose in mind when making their financial decisions think about it if you have a purpose in life that you want to achieve let's say you want to help 1000 kids 1000 poor kids eat every day you want to put food on their table every single day what is the likelihood that you'll be in, engaged in impulse purchases based on emotion very unlikely because you know that what you are about to do is based on emotion it's not what you need is what you want right the difference between needs and wants right so this is important and number eight mentally sturdy individuals support others in need that donate money they are involved in charitable activities they're involved in philanthropy right they also coach and mentor others supporting others in need is not just through money and resources it's also through expertise so basically if you want to be mentally strong and you want to gain financial freedom try to increase your karma try to flex your karma muscle coach other individuals who are in need mentor them the difference the basic difference between mentor uh, be, between a mentor and a coach is that a mentor is usually somebody who is at least one generation older than you and is doing it for free whereas a coach is usually someone who can be the same age or or even younger than you but who is charging you for it right so mentor no money coach money but it, it, it shouldn't matter the the, pro, the 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 distinction here doesn't matter it's not about money it's about spending your time helping others you can also volunteer time and expertise you can volunteer on causes that matter to you and that's something that a lot of mentally strong individuals do and that helps them gain financial freedom because imagine if you are allocating your energy on things that matter to you things that that 
contributes to having a sense of purpose in life, chances are you're not going to be distracted by certain things that will ultimately make you spend money on things you don't need. All right, I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're also having a conversation right now about 12 things mentally strong individuals do to gain financial freedom. Number nine, they take calculated risks. Now, mentally strong people, they don't allow the excitement over the promise of a big payout to make them fall prey to get quick, get rich quick schemes, right? You know, all those schemes that promise you to become millionaire in one day or become billionaire in two days, whatever right nobody wants to fall for that if you are mentally strong you are taking a calculated risk you want to basically look at the investment and understand what it is what is uh, appealing to you right don't let fear keep you from investing in the right opportunities you want to spend time calculating the risks you want to get informed about which opportunities best suit your financial goals number 10 Mentally strong individuals set clear goals and strive to achieve them. Now, when it comes to achieving a goal, you have to be resilient and persistent. This is those two are qualities that are they have been seen time and again in mentally strong individuals. Failure is just another opportunity to try again, not to give up. For those individuals, failure becomes an opportunity to try again. They have faith in themselves and their self-confidence is extremely high. And they also understand that planning is important, but that execution is the most critical. When it comes to setting clear goals and striving to achieve them, there is a model that, that we love a lot at the Awesome Crew Sweetie Kiwi Show. And that's, that is the SMART goal, the S-M-A-R-T, the SMART goal. SMART here stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time-Bound, Attainable or Achievable. And basically, this is uh, something that mentally strong individuals always try to have, to have smart goals so they can get financial freedom. Mentally strong individuals do not engage in unhealthy competition, right? So they don't compare themselves to other people because they, they're not trying to, they're not, they, they, remember what I said earlier, their self-worth is separate from their net worth. So they're not trying to sabotage their own effort by comparing themselves to other people mentally sturdy individuals they don't waste their energy competing to have the newest car or the biggest house on the block or the nicest dress or the shiniest shoes no they create their own definition of success and they stay focused on their path the mentally strong people they, they own stuff but their stuff doesn't own them in other words, their lives do not revolve around collecting more possessions. They take care of their belongings, but they're not married to them. They're able to move to a new home, part with things they have outgrown, and go without luxuries. I'm not saying that being mentally strong that means that you're not drawn to luxury. It just means that you have control over it. You own stuff, you own luxurious stuff, but those luxury stuff do not own you. That's the big difference here. All right. Thank you so much for listening to today's conversation. I really appreciate it. Let's just give a quick recap of the 12 things mentally strong people do to gain financial freedom. Their financial habits are in line with their values. They choose a well-grounded life partner. They set their self-worth apart from their net worth. They delay gratification. They create a budget. They form and nurture strong bonds with like-minded people. They have a sense of purpose. They support others in need. They take calculated risks. They set clear goals and strive to achieve them. They don't engage in unhealthy competition. And they own stuff. Their stuff doesn't own them. I will talk to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.